think, is a common response many women give when offered a new job or a promotion. You would think it would be something along the lines of thank you or I can't wait to get started. Unfortunately, that's not the case. The sad truth is, when offered a new opportunity, many women give a knee-jerk response of, really? What kind of answer is that? Someone wants to elevate you, invest in your career, and you just gave them a reason to doubt themselves by asking, really? The sad truth is, at some time, in some way, we as women have all unintentionally undermined ourselves with our words. This has to stop. My fascination with language started as a young girl growing up in France. That first day of school is vivid in my memory walking into a completely strange classroom. We had just moved from New York, and I did not speak a word of French. Elementary school is hard enough as it is without that added layer of not being able to communicate with my Parisian teacher or classmates. Those first few months were hard, but decades later, my respect for language is now part of my DNA. So much so that I am driven to work with professionals to ensure that their communication is as effective as possible. For the last 15 years, starting at Harvard Business School, I have been working with professional women to ensure that they align their communications with their intentions. Let's jump into what powerful language really is. Have you ever felt that you're simply not being heard? Do you ever feel that you're being interrupted? Do you feel misunderstood? We spend 80% of our time communicating, and only about half of that doing it well. The good news is this, we can change it. And the first step is understanding the role, the big role that you play in how you are seen, heard, and perceived. I'm going to share with you some tips today on how to communicate effectively to get more of what you want more often. Who doesn't want that? When we communicate, our goal is to influence those around us. How we communicate dictates our effectiveness. There are three things you may be doing right now that are undermining this effectiveness. First, you're probably using weak language, and you may not even be aware of it. Weak language is using conditional words and phrases and sentences to soften your approach. Words like sorry, just, only, maybe, or phrases like I think, I believe, I guess. It sounds something like, sorry if this doesn't make any sense. You know, Shane's really the expert here. I'm only been in this job for just two years. Or you could use strong leadership language, which sounds like, I know, I am convinced, I am confident, I recommend, I suggest, given my experience. So instead of saying, sorry if this doesn't make sense, you can say, let me know where you need clarification. Shane and I are here as your resources. Secondly, and we are all guilty of this, you may be prefacing your statements and your questions. This is the practice of softening what we really want to say 
by undermining ourselves. We do this because we're nervous or maybe we feel intimidated by our audience. It sounds something along the lines of, this may be a dumb question. We've all said that. Sorry for the interruption. And my personal favorite, and yes, this is a real example, pardon my ignorance. Why would you tell someone you're ignorant? Instead, don't skirt around your question. Don't explain what you're about to say. Jump right in. Make your statement. Ask your question. And finally, your tone of voice. You could be doing everything else right, using strong leadership language, jumping right into your statements or phrases. But if your tone is too tentative or too aggressive, your message will not be heard. Using strong leadership language requires for you to find that right balance of confidence and approachability. For instance, you could say, I have no doubt in my mind that this is the right way to go. Or you could come across as confident and approachable by saying, I am convinced this strategy will help us reach our goals. Do you hear the difference? We also need to stop ending our sentences as if they're a question. This is the habit known as the uptick. I constantly hear smart women saying things like, I think I could probably add some value. <laughs> it's hard to sound like an authority when everything you say ends in a question. These three communication bad habits are destroying your authority. Every time you use weak language or preface your statement or misuse your tone, you automatically put yourself in the one down position. Look, I know this is hard. I've been working on this for decades and I still am very deliberate in the words and the tone that I use. So here's your leadership language challenge for today. First, eliminate weak language from your vocabulary. Stop saying sorry, just, only, maybe. Stop using phrases like I think, I believe, I guess. Stop misusing your tone. Stop prefacing your statements. And instead, start using strong leadership language. Words like, I know, I'm confident, I'm convinced, I recommend, I suggest, given my experience. Secondly, give your written communication a powerful language review, much like a spell check. The beauty of written language is that we can spot that weakness and delete. And finally, let's catch each other in the act. Let's catch each other in the act when we hear weak language. Let's catch each other in the act when we hear powerful language being used. Share this message and continue the conversation with your colleagues, your friends, your sisters, your daughter, your tribe. Teach the next generation the power behind their words. Speak with conviction. Choose your words wisely. Be aware of your tone. And the next time someone offers you a new opportunity, you won't be tempted to say, really? You will be prepared to say, thank you. And when you do this consistently, you will lead with influence 
and authority. I leave you with some wisdom from one of my favorite, favorite authorities, my grandmother, Doris Elias, who would always say, Julie, dearie, remember two things. Enunciate your words and watch your language. Thank you.